Hello and welcome back to the School of Heat YouTube channel and welcome to the preview ahead of Liverpool versus Blackburn which is taking place on Thursday night I believe it is. We're going to Blackburn against Tony Mowbray's Blackburn team who had a pretty decent season last uh, last season from what I hear, from what I've read. They've had some decent players as well. Um, it's, a good, it's a good team to come up against as well because I think they'll provide us a bit more of a challenge like we had against Berry. okay? I know a lot of people weren't happy with the Berry game, but yeah, there were some negatives in that game, obviously. We didn't play that well, obviously didn't concede, had some troubling moments, but we didn't concede, didn't do anything like that, but they looked tired. Jurgen Klopp pretty much confirmed that after the game, or the next day after the game anyway, saying that the players were tired, that he'd put them through a hell of a training session, or two, the last two days had been very, very intense. So fair play, it's pre-season, that's fine. The intensity of pre-season will be a little bit different to the intensity during the season. It's not going to be that high. Right now, it is about getting the players ready for match fitness. Getting that fitness back up to optimum levels. And that's what it's all about. So if we have a draw here or there, or even if we lose a game, depending on, like, and it doesn't even really depend who it's against, as long as it's not against, you know, stupidly low opposition team, then, yeah, fair play. That's It's all about match fitness and also getting the rhythm of play back to how Liverpool want to play, how Jurgen Klopp wants to play, and what players that he's going to play as well. Who is going to get a shout for maybe making it into the squad for this season? Maybe not the you know the starting eleven and the subs and such, but who's going to get in and around that 25-man squad? That's what this pre-season, that is what pre-season in general is all about. It's about discovering those players, the younger players, like uh, Curtis Jones and Camacho. I've highlighted these two guys as people I want to see more of and I hope that we do get to see them against Blackburn because these two guys look very, very bright. They look ex they look like exceptionally talented players, and they look very, very creative as well. They look like they already sort of fit the mould of, li of how Liverpool play. Camacho, I would say, especially just because of um, how versatile he can be in terms of the positions that he can play. Curtis Jones has been really, really good. He was actually probably the highlight of the Blackburn game, uh, not the Blackburn game, the Berry game. He was probably the highlight of that game. He was very, very good. Anything good that happened during that game, like opportunities, chances and such, seemed to come through him. And that was really, really good to see. Now, in this game against Blackburn, I think you're going to see a lot of the same that we've seen already in pre-season. And what I mean by that is that you're probably going to see, you know, one team, one half, and one team for the next half. Now, whether Jurgen Klopp decides to do a little bit of a switch around of what happened in the last game against Berry. So, Karius got like 60 minutes or something like that. He got like 60 odd minutes. And then I think it was Grabara. Is that how you say his name? I think Grabara came on. Um, a lad who has come out and given an interview and he seems very confident about taking a number one jersey and maybe a Liverpool jersey in future. He seems very confident about doing that. Now, whether you do it a little bit different this time around and you put Danny Ward in goal and then maybe Grabara or is it Kelleher? I'm not entirely sure. Basically, I'm going to go through the squad that have trained with, um, with Liverpool as well. I've got them wrote down here. But, you know, is he going to do something similar to that? Is he going to give one of them 60 minutes? We've been hearing a lot about how he wants to give Danny Ward a fair chance in pre-season. And maybe this is the way to do it. Give him a good hour, see how he gets on, and then bring somebody else on. Could even bring Karius on for like a last half an hour or something like that. Who knows? He might actually want to maybe, you know, sit Karius out. Depending on how Danny Ward's going and how the game itself is going, if we seem pretty comfortable, he might just see out the 90 minutes with Danny Ward or whoever he chooses to put in goal. That's what's really key. Now, I'm going to go through the squad that I've trained. More importantly, those that haven't trained and give hopefully some reasons why I'm where I've read them from as well. Anything that I've read about the reasons why anybody is missing from training has come from thisisanfield.com. Where their sources come from, I'm not entirely sure, but there's a lot of links. And I've made a video about one of them already, um, maybe a week or two ago. So, we've got Danny Ings is missing. Now, he's been subject to moving clubs or even going on loan or maybe being sold or something like that. Nothing to do with that so far, but he's had like a, either a little niggle or an injury of some sort that they just they kept him out of the last game as well. I believe it did. I think that's what he said anyway. Um, and Harry Wilson is also missing as well. Now, we do know that Wilson is looking at getting a loan deal, and it looks like he could be heading over to Derby in the Championship. 
that could actually be done in the next two days or 48 hours, however you like to say it, could be done in the next two days. So he's most likely not going to be playing this one. They don't want to risk the loan deal going because he maybe picks up an injury in game or in training or anything like that. So they're not going to risk it and they don't want to risk the lad's future. Get him on down to Derby. While he's been really, really good, he's, when he's played in pre-season for us, he's been really good, very, very bright and very, very clinical. It is good for him to go out on loan. Just that maybe one more time goes out on loan and then we see what we've got next season. That'll be really, really good. The other person, there's only three people that are missing. The other person missing from training is Wine Alden. Now, Wine Alden is apparently, there's nothing a great deal wrong with his fitness. There's no injuries or anything like that. But there is obviously, there's reported interest of him being linked to Fenerbahce and maybe a previous coach that he's used to uh, train under or used to play under or something like that. So I don't know what's happening there. I've made my thoughts clear about it on another video. If you want to go look for that one, it's about Wijnaldum. Um, I want to keep Wijnaldum around. I think we're at a point now where we are getting some strong squad depth. And I think letting someone like Wijnaldum go, okay, he may not get first team opportunities as often as he did this season. Just gone. But he could still provide some vital cover, some vital quality as well. I know he goes missing in a couple of games. But he also scored some good goals for us and he scored some vital goals for us. When I say he scored some good goals, it literally is some. But still, when we've got people like Oxley chamberlain still to come back from injury, Naby Keita settling in quite well, Fabinho settling in quite well, but how is it going to happen in the Premier League season when we maybe need to switch tactics or something like that here and there? He could be a vital player. He could be a good squad player. Maybe he just doesn't want to be a squad player. Could be like an Emre Chan sort of situation. And maybe he's just weighing up his options. We don't know anything yet concrete. Now, the rest of the team that has trained, I will go through it from goalkeeper right way through to the forwards. Karius, Ward, Grabara, Kelleher. There are goalkeepers that have trained. Defence, Virgil van Dijk, Matip, Joe Gomez, Klavan, Phillips, Klein, Andy Robertson, Alberto Moreno. Midfield, we've got Keita, Fabinho, Millie, why have I wrote Millie? Milner, <laughs> it's Milner, um, Lalana, uh, Woodburn, Jones, Chiravella, and forwards that are trained is Sturridge, Origi, Solanke, Ojo, Kent, Camacho, and Markovic, which I kind of thought Markovic was done at this point. Like, I thought, you know, are they getting some training ahead of them? Just are they going to be moving now? What's happening with these guys? Are they going to sit? in purgatory again for another season. I don't know what's going on there, but Markovic has been listed as trained. Um, so yeah, anybody wondering about the likes of Firmino, Salah, Mane, um, even Shakiri? Firmino is going to get an extended rest over the rest of them. Everybody else, I think, is listed. Uh, Mane, Salah and Shakiri are listed to come in um, to the US tour, which I think is happening a week after... This game against Blackburn, it's either a week or it's at the weekend. I can't remember, I didn't look. But yeah, they're going to be coming in. Um, so we're going to see, hopefully get a bit more firepower, get some fitness into those guys. I don't expect them to be hitting the ground running straight away. I really don't. They are going to be in a position where they've been on holiday, they've been in the World Cup for, and got to whatever stage. Obviously Salah got knocked out in the groups. Firmino obviously went a bit further than that. Mane went a little bit further than that, I think. I think. Yeah, Shakiri obviously that he got his team through as well. So they're going to be have they right now they're going to be on holiday. So they're going to come in to the US tour. They're not going to be match fit, and that is what preseason again it brings it full circle. This video match fitness that's what it's all about. And the talks is is that Shakiri's debut or preseason debut I should say might come against Man United. That's interesting. That'd be really cool. <laughs> that would be really cool. I would absolutely love it if he could have an absolute, like, just a brilliant performance. But regardless, it's good to have, when it gets to that stage of pre-season, when we're getting closer to the start of the Premier League, yeah, performances start to matter and the teams that we come up against actually are a lot better, much more on the Premier League level. But until then, it's about fitness, it's about experience, and also it's about us getting a look at what our youngsters are doing and who can maybe break into this team for into the squad for the season upcoming season maybe Jones Curtis Jones and Camacho those guys are the ones that I'd be looking at might have a shot of doing it they might have a shot of doing it but it's big ask with all the play with the players that we brought in Naby Keita Fabinho um, Shakiri 
reported that others might come in. I'm not even going to talk about them in this video, but there's are reported that there are going to be two other players coming in. Whether we get them or not, that is another question. But let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I think you're going to see quite a, you know, a similar sort of setup. 45 minutes for one squad, 45 minutes of another squad, and then we're on to the US tour, I believe. So let me know what you're thinking of preseason so far. Are you enjoying preseason? Are you watching preseason? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do like that. What am I saying? Yeah, please do like the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. I got lost in my own thoughts then. Subscribe if you're new around here and hit that notification bell and I will catch you later.